very good evening everyone. My name is Konale. I am from DED5P and he is my teammate. Hi, good evening to you all too. My name is Vasandan. I am from, from class DEG5B2. So this is our final year project, which is called Solar Grass Cutter. So we can have an overlook of this project. From the overlook, as we can see on the top of this project, we have used the polycrystalline solar panel over monocrystalline. This is because it is very efficient and affordable to use it. Second part, I am going to talk about the zinc of this body we have used is because uh, it is very uh, lightweight and also can assemble and disassemble in order to troubleshoot. Third part. This is the eyes of the project, which is we can call as a ultrasonic sensor. It used to detect 20 centimeter an object, which is my damage to our project. It will stop or automatically turn right or left. Fourth part, we can see over here, we have used the rubber uh, tires in order to move in the grass area. You can see this is the down part of our project. We have another third motor, uh, third DC motor, middle of the project, which is for cut the grass. This is our interior part of our project. So we can see we have Arduino Uno board and DC motor board. Here. So Arduino Uno board is our brain to our project. And this motor module is, is, is can control both of movement of the motor. This is our third motor, which is to cut the grass. And we have DC battery, which is 12 volt and Bluetooth module. And lastly, we have the solar charger controller that control uh, that absorb uh, electric from the solar and store it in the battery. So that's all. Okay, the final part of this video, we are going to show how our project is going to work by using a Bluetooth connection in our smartphone. Okay, press for forward. Uh, so now we are going to show how our project is going to turn the direction by using the smartphone so press for right, enter, and we can see it's turning around. So previously I have said about this project and the ultrasonic sensor, which it will detect the object nearer, which might cause the project damage, it will automatically stop. So let's have a look. So by pressing the forward, we can see. That's all.